my channel where you guys watch a schmuck like me going on as many adventures as I humanly possibly can. Why you're here, don't know. Even if you click off this video in the next 10 seconds, I'm still grateful that you are here and I appreciate you. Any kind of interest in my content goes a long way. So thanks for tuning in, even if it's just for a little bit. Thank you so much. Today, we are going on yet another adventure. It is a Thursday afternoon. I just got off work and now I'm heading up to one of my favorite places yet again, the Mount Baker Wilderness. I wanted to make sure that I got up here like one last time before summer is officially over. Um, summer is winding down really quickly, especially here in the PNW. Our summers feel like they just kind of are coast and coast and then they just fall off a cliff and just right into fall. Having seasons is good though because they make you appreciate each season. So when you're in the summer, you just really appreciate it even more because you know that it, once summer is over, you're kind of back into the dreary. But short little adventure today, but it should be a great adventure nonetheless. And we have uh, just about a one hour and 20 minute drive up to Artist Point from where I grew up. And I uh, figured during that drive, we might as well have our little Bible thought of the day on the way up. So I was reading something just recently. It was talking about the power of the name of Jesus. You can access the power in that name and use it against your enemies. And so one of the things that I was thinking about is that how a lot of people, including myself, we worry about stuff. We're anxious about stuff. Um, we're fearful of things. Those are all normal things for most people. The spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of worry, those are not from the Lord, our Father. Those are from the enemy. They try, the enemy casts those spirits upon us to try to cripple us, try to make us live in doubt, try to bring us down and keep us from our true potential. And so you can use the name of Jesus over those things. You can bind the worry, the fear, the anxiety, you can bind it in the name of Jesus and rebuke it. And there's power there. If you truly have faith in the power of the name of Jesus and you use it over your circumstances, whatever it may be, Jesus will show up and he will work for you. He will He will show up for you. He can come in and, and create a divine intervention, a supernatural intervention beyond what you can even fathom. If it's anything, even just like a little thing of fear or worry, instead of sitting there and like mulling it over in my head and just letting it get worse and worse and worse, I just say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this worry. I rebuke this anxiety. Through the name of Jesus, I will live a peaceful day today. And kind of just let it be, man. Just let it go, let it float away, and just let Jesus take care of it. Yeah, that's just a little Bible thought of the day. Um, I thought that was a pretty powerful realization. I wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully that resonates with you guys a little bit. Maybe that encourages you a little bit. So in the spirit of that message just there, in the name of Jesus, I declare that today is gonna be a good day. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this sunset mission is going to be a great, a fantastic sunset mission. We're going to go out into the wilderness, see your beauty, your creation, and just glorify you, Jesus. And I pray all these things in your mighty, mighty name. Amen. Let's get out into the beautiful Lord's creation. Go watch a sunset. It should be a good one. Okay, we have made it to Artist Point. It's a beautiful evening already. Um, I think I'm just gonna meander around to a couple viewpoints that are pretty close to the parking lot this evening because I'm not trying to hike too much because I did a 10 mile run this morning and my legs feel like they got chopped off. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it pretty low key this evening. 
Um, that's the beauty of Artist Point, man. You can drive up here and there's just views all around as soon as you park. Like you don't have to walk anywhere. You can just park and bam, there's just views in your lap. Obviously, I would prefer to go on a hike, get away from the crowds, um, get to get to a little more unique views, but my legs are just shot right now from all the training I've been doing for the running. My legs are just gonzo. So I don't want to do much hiking today. I'm gonna keep it pretty light, keep it pretty simple. But we're still gonna get some amazing views. So let's get out there and gaze upon some beauty, man. Let's go. can't quite put into words right now how beautiful it is out here God is so good man just one of my favorite places ever views everywhere <laughs> Shuxton up here on my left Baker over here on my right There's Baker. And then Shuxon just over this hill. Man, just unbeatable. What's crazy to me is to think about in just a couple months, this whole area will be covered in snow. And I'll probably be up here snowboarding. That is a wild thought. Just a couple months from now. So the ski resort is actually just over that hill right here. So in just a couple months, I'll be right over there snowboarding. <laughs> Wild. Okay, the sun just went down. Now the temperatures have already dropped by like 15 degrees. It's a little nippy. So I'm gonna start making my way back to the car.
made it back to the car. I'm gonna start making my way back down this mountain, go home and get some rest. So I'm gonna end the video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. My heart is so full now after this evening. I hope yours is too. And uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss future adventures of a Joe Schmo like me going out on random adventures. Um, subscribing helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you guys are interested in what I'm making. So, but yes, that will do it for this episode. That will do it for this adventure. Just a lovely sunset mission success. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.